It's, it's, a, it's a big one, isn't it? It's an important one. It's going to be tough up against it. Gates are obviously battling it out for the title with, with Brackley, but it's amazing what one positive result, how much of a difference that can make. It's obviously, this time last week, uh, we still had the, the previous management, but since Steve Kittrick's come in, we got that 2-0 win at Kettering, um, and all of a sudden you can see the mood around the place, I think, has, has lifted. Left-hand side, it's uh, played in field, and uh, Langstaff gets it into the penalty area. Adam Campbell can't get it down cleanly. A shot does come in, takes an awkward deflection, dips at the last minute just onto the roof of the netting, and uh, that for a moment looked like it might squirm into the goal. Awkward uh, moment there for Geyser, but thankfully only a corner. Still scoreless. Best opportunity perhaps was Gateshead with a deflected shot that just went over the bar. They've got a corner now, it's gone short, it's crossed into the six-yard box. Owen Mason didn't get a hold of it, he's palmed it away as the tackle comes in from Ben Sharif. Guys, you haven't cleared the lines at all yet, the shot is fired in and it's taken a deflection and gone behind for a corner kick. And that was all because as Owen Mason came to collect it, he neither punched nor claimed the ball. Instead, he kind of palmed it down. Ben Sharif got involved, made a firm challenge, but couldn't get a, a up off the ground to clear. And then in the end, a couple of efforts uh, later, it was a deflection that took it behind for yet another corner. And Louis Story, so something stuffed up his nose. As, uh, they make the ball move forward to the right-hand side now and into the box with Tinkler. He plays it across the field, but the flag was up already. Tinkler was in an offside position. Jack Hunter. And the ball moving down this right-hand side with uh, Tinkler. And the ball's uh, on the edge of the D now as uh, Gateshead beginning to work it through. And then the ball into the box. Finds Langstaff with a yard of space. He swipes his right foot at it. Connects with it with the outside of the boot. It curls quite comfortably in the end to Owen Mason. But it was a nicely built-up move. Good passage of play there from Gateshead. Spells and this opening half. And it's out here with him again. Tinkler... It's uh, closed down here by Tia. Still finds an angle for a ball forward. Holland stretches a leg and he's played it straight through to Campbell. Campbell takes a shot and it's worked its way in. It took a deflection off Hamza Bencher and it slowed its way down into the goal. But it's still foxed Owen Mason. An improbably slowly shot from uh, Adam Campbell. And uh, it's Gateshead who get the first goal in this game. And uh, the visitors take the advantage after the 38th minute it's Geisy nil Gateshead one five so uh, it's a goal it's still not decided whether it's a good or a bad goal it doesn't uh, matter here though because at the moment the lines trail and the referee Neil Baines blows his whistle for half time Geisy can rue a positive start he didn't quite create enough to uh, force Philip Marshall into any real saves, but uh, the uh, league leaders, well, they grew and grew. Gateshead got stronger and stronger in this half and uh, eventually got an opportunity. It came from a defensive area when Andy Hollins couldn't get a firm enough clearance on, uh, on a ball he was intercepting. It went through uh, to uh, Adam Campbell, who uh, struck the ball off. Uh, a lunging challenge of uh, Hamza Ben Sharif. It uh, deflected and awkwardly away from Owen Mason and nestled into the bottom left-hand corner almost in slow motion. Uh, there was a pause before the Gateshead fans even realised what had happened and started cheering, but uh, it's the deciding factor in this first half between the two sides. At half-time here, it's Geisy nil, Gateshead one. With a whistle. <laughs> this seems to be taking a long time, doesn't it? Finally, we get uh, off as... Uh, Andy Hollins plays the ball over the top, looking uh, towards the feet of John Johnson on that side, but he's intercepted before it gets to him. It'll be a throw in. First two minutes at Polo's, not even had time to get a touch and make a pass as it before he's had. Again, he's had midfielder breathing right down his neck. Ooh, what a bit casual from, from Owen Mason. Ball goes back to uh, Owen Mason, who just leaves some time before uh, clearing it. Alec Polo slipped as Ollie collects it once again, plays it through here, and it'll be Langstaff, he'll bury it. 2-0 to Gateshead. Disaster for Geisley. A clearance out here and the ball was laid through. A captain by Greg Ollie. McCauley Langstaff had lost his marker. Found some space about the edge of the area. And uh, made no mistake with that one. A 
firing shot past the goalkeeper Owen Mason and uh, it's uh, a second goal for Gateshead and it's now Geisy nil, Gateshead 2 Steve Kittrick just uh, looking on the edge of the dugout there and on his chin it's deep in thought uh, very deep in thought doesn't he wondering what maybe he can do to change this round Shrahar now into Tia Ekpolo tries to get it through to Tia possessed here by Greg Olley who sends it down that right hand side and Langstaff's free again and inside the penalty area it's one on one with the goalkeeper and that's the third the lines have fallen apart in this second period they've been uh, turned over from two goals by Macaulay Langstaff who's been played through twice who's beaten the offside trap twice and has played the ball twice past Owen Mason to make it now guys in ill gates at three Tinkler on the right hand side as Gates had come forward once more 3 nil up in this game ball in field and once again it's a threat from the visitors as the shot comes in from Mali this time he doesn't really get any real connection on the ball picked up now by Tinkler who was finding a lot of space in that first half it's uh, Connor Mali now on the uh, right flank Mali gets past his man and uh, it's held up by Tia goes back one but still gets head move it neatly into the ball and a flashing shot from the captain Greg Ollie just gets under it it was a difficult angle got too much underneath it the ball goes over the bar and behind for a goal kick in the advantage or the ball too fast too much uh, football to play for them yet and they've done well again got the ball into the box it's chance for Langstaff again this time he hits it tamely straight into the arms of the goalkeeper and uh, Mason very grateful for that because really a better finish from Langstaff and that could have been four really ought to have done done better with that it probably wasn't ball over the top here just looking to get Tier away but that's a, a good ball there from Okpolo good run from Tier but not enough and through to the goalkeeper we not there to aim for it's, it's kind of like the same problem difficult afternoon look at the sub the injury bench the injury list rather you know we saw Jamie Spencer out there at half time John Johnson just doing well down here down the right hand side he's got a, a chance to cross into the box it uh, bounces without anyone really getting in on the end Josh Stones was some yards from the goal Johnson had played it in first time and it was beyond uh, Becker and Tia by Jacob Crossfield ball from Jacob Tinkler's onto that one again. Dinks the ball into the box. And Scott gets underneath it. Look towards the flag on the far side, and it wasn't there. Kerwin Scott got the ball down from a good ball in. It was Jacob delivered it, but uh, he took it on the volley. And uh, unfortunately, from his perspective, couldn't keep it down. He's not really winning enough of the battles. Oh, Shrahad orders on the ball. The ball's been won back here. Mali's on through and goal. He's got one right side of Drake Shrahad and places the ball in the net. Connor Mali, a mistake from Shrahar. Geisley punished again. And uh, that surely is the end of this game with uh, 75 minutes gone. Connor Mali has uh, given Gateshead the fourth. And it's now Geisley nil, Gateshead four. Couple of hundred maybe from. Uh, I just said about said. 250 ish, considering yeah. they've packed out the stand next to us by the looks of it. Okay, said are coming forward again, packing out the penalty box now. It's gone to the edge of the air, and another shot buried into the back of the net, laid off there by Ollie. I must admit, I didn't quite catch who scored it, but guys, he have been undone in a simple, simple way. Neat football. The ball volleyed home. You'll forgive me, I've not got the uh, name and don't recognise by sight the. Uh, Gates said players. I think it might be Taylor Charters. And then it's uh, cleared up towards the halfway line and up steps J uh, Jack Hunter. Goes down this right hand side. Infield is Ollie, who's got some space to work in. He's got an overlap. The overlap is Charters, who fires it home and it's a six. Just slick football, isn't it? And uh, guys, he had just turned over, and, uh, and this is. A humbling afternoon for guys in our humbling second half in which Gateshead have uh, well run right in the second period really scoring five times and uh, that one 
uh, right on the uh, stroke of the full 90 is uh, going to be a hard one to bear Geisy now trailing here at Nethermore ah uh, yeah well he's get, he'll learn a lot about his players this yeah. afternoon then won't he Steve we'll, Kittrick we'll learn more, more from this than he will from any kind of win probably all for the wrong reasons unfortunately the ball is forward now and uh, oh, it could get worse for Geisley. Kedwin Scott's just got past his man and into the penalty area looking for an angle fires it hits the upright and away that could have been seven it should have been the seven woodwork saved lines on that occasion but hasn't saved us on six more and that is the real tale of the game guys one nil down at the break we're in it came out second uh, second best in the second half and conceded five goals in the second period it's a dismal day for Geisley it makes every game now coming up even more important and it's ended very disappointingly here Geisley nil Gates had six